good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you're watching in this world and whenever you're watching. This is the Ocogen Hunter, Brandon Vietas, out here on Sign Skillet. And I am back out here at uh, Binoki. Um, you can see that I'm back at a point that I caught the Ocogen last time. Um, and what I've done is I wanted to see if this was a ridge, so I actually started way over here and I zigzagged back and forth to try to find that structure and I couldn't. So, I mean, there were some rock rubble, but there was no structure. So I'm back here and uh, I'm gonna continue going more north to see if that structure continues north. Um, I'm definitely gonna drop on, this, on these rocks, but uh, kind of want to explain what it is that I'm doing. Um, this morning's tackle, what I'm going to start out with is going to be the seafloor control, uh, 200 gram abyss, that color right there. And the rod is going to be the seafloor control jam rod, joy and madness. And the reel is the ocean jigger 2000s, uh, HG of course. Um, the assist hooks on the jig, these are the uh, 3.0 hooks and then a three centimeter length. I see some good marks, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop. So what I'm seeing on my fish finder is the sounder on the bottom is the 86 Hertz. Uh, that's going to be the wider beam. The above beam is going to be the 200 hertz. Now, they are both set at automatic sensitive uh, plus two at the moment. Um, throughout the day, what you might notice is the sensitivity on the 200 changing. Um, sometimes I uh, have the sensitive, uh, sensitivity up to two. Sometimes I, I turn it down to auto um, just so I can figure out um, how big the the fish actually are. Um, again, right now it's at uh, plus two. Um, I don't know if that's accurate, but that is that is definitely what I do. Um, you can see that on the bottom sonar, there's actually a lot of really good structure down there with some fish marks sitting on the top of that structure. Um, on the 200, there are far fewer marks, but that's just because it is a narrower beam, so there's going to be less of a return there. That dredger's on the move now. Yeah, just, just so you know. Okay, wait.
I've got a nice little uh, rock rubble structure or something a little bit over that way. And it looks like there's fish sitting on top of it. So I'm going to wait for him to pass by and then I'm going to uh, move in that direction a little bit. This is a good point. This uh, grouper that I just caught, yeah. when we go out with uh, Gosong, the Kampachi points, this yeah. is a bycatch. Really? So this is the right area. Um, can you see the rock rubble on the bottom? No, not at all. Can you zoom in to bottom? You know how to do that? No, I don't actually. Uh, so you have the Garmin Striker 4, right? Right. So there's a zoom function. On the uh, on the 200, if you zoom in to bottom and you only look at like the bottom uh, 20 meters, you're gonna see scattered rock rubble along the bottom. And that's usually where the uh, amberjack hang out. No, uh, you can you can be on either, but the two hundred will be more specific. It does. Yes. And so it might be in the uh, in the menu. Yeah. Yeah. Cause see, like right now, oh, 
this scattered rock rubble is really good fishing. Oh, I see here. All right, so I can do no zoom, bottom lock, manual, or auto? Um, do auto, uh, do 20 meters. So the one on the with the, the dispersed markings, those are all on the bottom, right? right. That's your scattered rock rubble. Oh, good. so okay. Well, then if I'm getting. And then are you seeing the marks right off them? Right on, right on top. Of them. Right on top. There's marks. Yeah. Oh shit. So that that is going to be your your grouper and amberjack. <laughs> so this is a good spot now whether they're eating right now or not i don't know um obviously it doesn't feel like it but i'm still feeling like i want to be over at that other point around the uh the change of tide at one so i just had a hit on the fall But see how clearly you see the bottom now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because when you're not zoomed in, it just looks like flat bottom.
Yep. High pitch. Yeah, high pitch.
No! Auto me boy! As soon as you yell, I got a monster! I was yelling, me too! <laughs> Time to head in? Yeah. All right, you want a, want a hero shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to start heading back in. Um, I don't think he's going to fit my coat. I'm just going to right here. Uh, I already had him up in here to uh, brain him in stuff. See the spring scar right there? Okay. Good? I think so. Yeah.